Hey, Tinkerers, do you know what these are? That's right, they're beaters. You've got to be very careful not to put your fingers anywhere near this end down here because they move very fast. Let's have a look at them in action. Level one, two, three, four, five. Like I'm going to take off. Well, Mr. Peters, you've done your job really well, but now it's time to show me your guts. Ooh. Show me your guts. <laughs> so you can see that I've safely unplugged the Peters from the wall. So we no longer have any power or electricity coming to these Peters, so we are safe to open them up. Are you ready? It's Tinker time. All right, show me your guts, Mr. Beaters. Hmm. Didn't quite know <laughs> where to start. Oh, well, that's a good as place as any, I think. How are we gonna get inside this old appliance? Nope, nope. Gonna need some new instruments. Just gotta get a uh, four-headed screwdriver. I'll be mm. back. <sighs> All right, Tinkerers, I've literally tried every screwdriver known to human. I got a precision one with a million heads. I got all these bubbies. And I finally found one that can get inside the Mix Master. Here we go. All right, open. Righty tighty, loosey goosey. Ah, yeah, we're coming open. It looks like that screw is Pretty much open. He's been a stubborn screw though. Whatever that means. Oh no, I don't even know what screwdriver opens this head. Is he a flathead? No! Nope. Like, I've never seen anything like that. Nope. nope none of them are gonna work. <laughs> nope. Cut! <gasps> Alright, Tinkerers. I, I admit it, I'm feeling a bit defeated. I'm trying to get inside the beaters. And there's one screw that just doesn't fit any of my screwdriver heads. So I've made a decision. We're gonna smash it open! Hammer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we bent the plastic. Ooh, looky here. Oh, yeah, see, this is totally worth it. Why are you so determined to bring me down, screw? Go, I'm done. Okay, that is the one piece of plastic we had to break to get inside. And now we're inside. I think the worst screw ever. Oh, ooh, look at this. It's interesting how this old technology is really different to the last few showing me of guts where we've had chipboards and so on but this one the mechanics are really interesting so look at that turn and see the two cogs turn spinning on there two more screws there's the view up here's the plastic you were not fair to me Woo! look at here so that's a slightly broken piece of plastic we still have our wiring here all connected. So now here, this is the button that said one, two, three, four. So how fast you wanted them to mix. And as I move that button, it connects to a different circuit. So here's the different circuits to do this different speeds, and it turns to push onto one of them. I've plugged it back into the PowerPoint, being really careful. But watch that. Makes the motors turn. And that is where the beaters were spinning. Really carefully. All with this little switch and circuit here. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it again now. So I've disconnected it from the power again, so we're safe to keep on opening it up really nice to open up some technology that isn't all full of chipboards or digitally made. 
So here we're opening up that motor now. You can see all this copper wiring. Ooh, like that spring. I think that's masking tape. There's that one screw again. Hey, <laughs> we did it. Oh, you were tough. Missed a screw in there. All right, here we've got our full motor to have a look at. Ah, now this screw is much more cooperative. Nope. Cooperative. No. Cooperative. No. Cooperative. No. Ah. Ah. Wanna come up? Ooh, there we go. Check that out. And our little motor's coming undone. Show me further into your guts. Sometimes I wonder why they use different metals in the screws. Oh, look at that part of the motor. These wires. Definitely gonna have to cut these. They've been soldered together. With the power, all oh, my strength. Oh. And we're off. This is cool. I might have to get some long nose pliers. Come on out. It's okay, this world ain't too bad. You watched my episode one where we made plastic out of milk and vinegar. Somehow, I don't think this plastic was made from milk and vinegar. Now that's the one that was coming up against the circuit. So I think that's made of copper. If I cut this piece of copper here, this would all just unravel. Whoa, there's so much of it. Ready, time for it. still unraveling the copper wire. It's going forever. So now I've taken to cutting through the copper wire. Let's see, this is crazy. Look at all this. Look, what are you trying to hide, Mr. Egg Beaters? And I've literally spent about 45 minutes getting this wire off. I'm like pulling hair out of a hairbrush. Gross. All the copper wire is off. Well, I tell you guys, this has been an interesting show me your guts. I don't know if I'd call it a raging success. Nope. So I think that's about as far as I can go on these beaters. We've already broken plastic to get inside this one. So let's leave it at that. Show me your guts. guts.